Bonjour and welcome, viewers and students, to Let's Speak French, Parlons Français. These lessons on basic French are short and easy. And if you follow the program regularly, I can assure you that very soon you will be able to understand French quite easily. The previous lesson focused on two tenses, the recent past and the near future. In today's session, we are going to learn about the future tense. More specifically, we'll learn about the simple future and the other structures used for expressing an action that is yet to happen. This lesson has been divided into three sections. In the first section, I will present a text in the future. In the next section, I will explain to you the construction of the simple future. I will also show you how to express the future without using the simple future. And in the third section, I will provide an exercise to revise what we learnt in today's session. We'll begin the lesson with a French text. This text talks about the development project proposed by the mayor of Gatineau uh, as published in the local magazine Actualité. Un projet bienveillant ou une stratégie politique. Depuis longtemps, les rives des rivières Gatineau et des Watawe ont été négligées. Mais tout cela va changer d'après le projet ambitieux proposé par Benoît Cartier, maire de Gatineau. Une promenade le long des rives s'inscrit dans le projet d'aménagement que le maire vient de présenter au dernier conseil municipal. Les membres du conseil municipal ont vocationné les efforts du maire pour restaurer les berges tout en offrant aux citoyens une promenade attractive et sécurisée au bord des rivières. Actualité vous présente les points saillants en envisagés par le maire. Pour les habitants, ce projet phare offrira une longue promenade attractive pour les marcheurs, sera une escapade champêtre pour les amoureux de la nature, permettra un accès sécurisé aux rivières, créera une nouvelle voie entre le pont Lady Aberdeen et le parc de la baie. Pour l'environnement, ce projet phare réaménagera les berges, réduira le déversement des déchets sur les rives. Pour la biodiversité, ce projet phare restaurera la faune et la flore des berges, fournira un passage naturel liant le parc à l'eau libre. Voici quelques avis recueillis par Actualité. Colbert, 62, retraité. C'est génial ce projet. Nous serons fiers de notre maire. Il est jeune, dynamique et clairvoyant. Le parc de la baie n'était plus accessible à cause de l'odeur infecte des berges. Maintenant, nous allons pouvoir profiter de cet espace vert. La construction de la promenade va sûrement motiver les gens de faire des randonnées et ainsi adopter une mode de vie plus saine. Michel, 36, bancaire. Pff, ce n'est qu'une manœuvre politique. Benoît Cartier achètera certainement les votes des gens de Gatineau avec son soi-disant projet phare. Le projet sera mis de côté aussitôt que les élections seront terminées. Ophélie 23, étudiante en langue. Il y a des gens qui n'apprécient pas l'administration de M. le maire. Mais ma famille, mes amis, en fait, tout le monde que je connais, on a toujours fait confiance aux décisions prises par le maire. Et je crois qu'enfin, avec ce nouveau projet phare, ben, les détracteurs vont voir l'ingéniosité et l'efficacité de ces idées. Théodore, 50, professeur titulaire chimie. Je vais certainement applaudir les efforts de M. Cartier. Le moment est largement venu de préserver et restaurer l'environnement. 
La vaste étendue de terre au bord de la rivière se trouve dans un état lamentable. So this was a short text where the future has been expressed through three different ways. In the next section, we will examine the construction of these structures. In French, there are three future tenses. We have already learned one of them, the near future or le futur proche in French. In today's lesson, we will learn about the simple future known as le futur simple. There exists a third future tense, the future antérieur. This future tense is not just more complex, but it also lacks an English equivalent. We won't be examining this text in today's lesson. So this was a short introduction to the future tense that exists in the French language. Now let us get back to the simple future and focus our attention on its use and construction. Let's begin with the terminology. The tense is known as the simple future because in French all the tenses are classified into two groups. Temps simple and temps composé. Les temps simples, which literally translates as simple tenses, are one word constructions. In other words, these tenses do not require an auxiliary verb. Les temps composés, on the other hand, are always composed of two elements, verb and auxiliary verb, hence the name temps composé. This term does not have an English equivalent. Now let me explain to you how to construct the simple future. It's very easy to remember this construction because all the verbs, irrespective of their group, have the same endings. AI, AS, A, A, ONS, EZ, ONT, ONT. So these are the eight endings. Now I'll show you the stem to which these endings are attached. For the first and the second group verbs, the stem is the infinitive form. In other words, we simply place the appropriate ending at the end of the infinitive without removing any letters. For example, let's consider two verbs from the text. Donne is a first group verb while fournir is a second group verb. To conjugate them in the simple future, we simply add the endings to the entire infinitive form. Je donnerai, tu donneras, il donnera, elle donnera, nous donnerons, vous donnerez, ils donneront, elles donneront. Je fournirai, tu fourniras, il fournira, elle fournira, nous fournirons, vous fournirez, ils fourniront, elles fourniront. With the third group verbs, a few changes in the stem may be required. For regular third group verbs such as partir, sortir, dormir, etc., the rule is the same as the first group and second group verbs. Let's consider a verb from the text. Offrir to offer. J'offrirai, tu offriras, il offrira, elle offrira. Nous offrirons, vous offrirez, ils offriront, elles offriront. The verbs mourir, to die, courir, to run, and acquérir, to acquire, and all the verbs from the same group require a slight modification to the stem. The IR ending is replaced with an R before adding the appropriate simple future endings. Je courrai, tu courras, il courra, elle courra, nous courrons, vous courrez, ils courront, elles courront. The third group verbs that end with RE such as boire to drink, entendre to listen, 
dir to tell etc the final e is removed before adding the appropriate simple future endings here's the conjugation of the verb from the text permettre to allow je permettrai tu permettra il permettra elle permettra nous permettrons vous permettrez ils permettront elles permettront and then there are those third group verbs which have an irregular stem in the simple future let's consider a verb from the text voir to see je verrai tu verras il verra elle verra nous verrons vous verrez ils verront elles verront please refer to the faq section for the conjugation of a few other irregular third group verbs before i tell you about a few stem changing first group verbs let me show you the simple future conjugation of the two auxiliary verbs jore tu aura il aura elle aura nous aurons vous aurez ils auront elles auront je serai tu seras il sera elle sera nous serons vous serez ils seront elles seront for first group verbs that end with e l e r or e t e r such as jeter to throw and appeler to call the letters l and t are doubled before adding the endings and those verbs which are exceptions to this rule will have a grave accent over the preceding e here are two examples j'appellerai tu appelleras il appellera elle appellera nous appellerons vous appellerez ils appelleront elles appelleront j'achèterai tu achèteras il achètera elle achètera nous achèterons vous achèterez ils achèteront elles achèteront and one final group of stem changing verb are y e r ending verbs in the simple future the y changes to i je serai tu essaieras il essaiera elle essaiera nous essaierons vous essaierez ils essaieront elles essaieront as you may have noticed the letter r always precedes the simple future endings and this r sound is characteristic of the simple future beginners who are learning french may often get confused with the simple future in english which uses the modal verb will or shall for example he will buy the votes of the people of gatino this project will redevelop the river bank in french the simple future is always a one word term so the french translation of the above sentences are he will buy the votes of the people becomes il achètera les votes des gens this project will redevelop the river bank ce projet réaménagera les berges the first use of the simple future is obviously to talk about an event that is to happen the simple future is however limited to a formal setting what i mean is that the simple future is generally used in written french and sometimes in spoken french when the conversation takes place in a formal situation in other words the simple future is almost never used in informal french so how do the french express the future while speaking well there are two different structures that are used in french when speaking about an event that is yet to happen the first one is through the near future which we learned in the previous lesson 
The other one is through the present tense. Let's consider the two following sentences. Le maire présente le projet au conseil municipal. The mayor presents the project to the municipal council. Demain, le maire présente le projet au conseil municipal. Tomorrow, the mayor will present the project to the municipal council. In the first sentence, the verb présenter is conjugated in the simple future. This tense indicates an action that is yet to occur, but it does not specify when. In the second sentence, the verb présenter is conjugated in the present tense. Here, however, we know when the mayor will present the project. It is the word demain which indicates it. So the third structure that is widely used in French to express the future is the addition of an adverb of time to a verb conjugated in the present tense. Here are a few more examples. Ce soir, nous invitons des amis. This evening, we will invite a few friends. Le dimanche prochain, je fête mon anniversaire. Next Sunday, I will celebrate my birthday. Now, let's look at the second use of the simple future. The second use of the simple future is related to the imperative tense. In order to make an order or an issue sound more polite, the simple future may be used instead of the imperative. Let me illustrate this with an example from the text. Imperative, soyons fiers de notre mère. Let's be proud of our mayor. Simple future, nous serons fiers de notre mère. The verb être is conjugated as Soyons in the first person plural of the imperative. But it changes to nous serons since the tense is now the simple future. Here are a few more examples. Imperative Lave-toi bien les mains. Wash your hands well. Simple future Tu te laveras bien les mains. Imperative Prenez des notes s'il vous plaît. Please take notes. Simple future. Vous prendrez des notes, s'il vous plaît. The simple future is also used after certain conjunctions. This may seem confusing to a beginner because these same conjunctions call for the present tense in English. Here's an example from the text. Le projet sera mis de côté aussitôt que les élections seront terminées. The project will be set aside as soon as the elections are over. Here are two more examples. Les gens visiteront le parc dès que la promenade sera construite. People will visit the park as soon as the esplanade is built. La construction commencera lorsque le gouvernement aura suffisamment de fonds. The construction will begin when the government has sufficient funds. A list of conjunctions that require the simple future is given in the FAQ section. So these were the three uses of the simple future. Before we revise today's lesson, let me summarize the simple future for you. The simple future is a tense that is widely used in the formal setting. When the future is expressed in spoken French, one generally prefers using the near future or the present tense along with an adverb of time. While the simple future indicates an action or an event that is yet to take place, the tense has two other uses as well. The simple future can be used instead of the imperative tense to express a polite request or an order. It is also used after certain conjunctions. In this third section, we will revise what we learnt in today's lesson on the simple future. We have below five sentences. The verbs that are given within brackets need to be conjugated in the simple future. 
Vous jetez les déchets dans la poubelle, s'il vous plaît. Jeter is a first group verb which ends with E-T-E-R. So we double the letter T before adding the appropriate simple future ending. Vous jetterez les déchets dans la poubelle, s'il vous plaît. This sentence translates as You will please throw the garbage in the waste bin. S'il ne fait pas attention, il courir le risque de perdre les élections. Courir is a third group verb, but it has an irregular conjugation. The IR ending will be replaced by an R and then the appropriate ending will be added. S'il ne fait pas attention, il courra le risque de perdre les élections. This sentence translates as If he is not careful, he runs the risk of losing the election. Nous avoir maintenant un autre jardin public dans la ville. Avoir is an irregular verb. The right conjugation for the first person plural is aurons. So the right answer is Nous aurons maintenant un autre jardin public dans la ville. This sentence translates as We will now have another park in the city. Les espaces verts réduire la pollution atmosphérique. Réduire is a third group verb which has an irregular conjugation. The final E from the infinitive will be dropped and then the appropriate ending will be added. Les espaces verts réduiront la pollution atmosphérique. This sentence translates as Parks will reduce the air pollution. Tu être obligé de prendre un détour car la route est bloquée. Être is an irregular conjugation. The second person singular form is sera. So the answer is Tu seras obligé de prendre un détour car la route est bloquée. This sentence translates as You will have to take a detour because the road is blocked. With this, we come to the end of our fifth lesson of chapter 7. This lesson was divided into three sections. In the first section, I read out a text in this future tense. In the next section, I explained the construction of the simple future. We also learned how to express the future without using the simple future. And finally, in the third section, we revise today's lesson by doing an exercise. I hope you enjoy today's session. In the next class, we'll begin chapter 8. The first lesson will be on giving and taking down orders at a restaurant. I hope to see you in the next session. Thank you and à bientôt. See you soon.